Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Turkey Ella Sheikh and Canelo have had a little bit of a falling out. You may have heard this. And um, it really stems from the fact that I think Turkey Ella Sheikh, <clears throat> um, he is, shall we say he's used to getting his own way. He's used to coming over with his bottomless bag of dollars or pounds or whatever and calling the shots. And Canelo... Uh, even though the originally the the uh, mooted match between uh, between Canelo and Crawford was the one that Turkey was mentioning, now they've called they've sort of it's cooled off, and Turkey says I'm not really interested in that fight anymore. Well, I don't know whether it was that that sparked <clears throat> a little bit of friction between uh, Turkey and, and uh, Canelo, but um, it, it exists. And I'll just get the old electronic cheese board out, and I'll read you a few. Uh, a few quotes. So Turkey said of, of the Crawford Canelo fight, he said, I decided to disregard the Canelo fight as I don't want it anymore. Okay. You're the man with the money. I suppose whether you, if you don't want it, you don't want it. Um, <clears throat> but Canelo uh, said he, he really didn't really care about facing Crawford anyway. I'm good with what I'm doing. Alvarez told this is a, this is a fight hype article. Uh, I don't need that kind of thing. I'm not looking for that kind of fight. If they want the fight, okay. Uh, it's my way, not their way. Interesting comment. Um, and Canelo's response sparked a, uh, a, a Canelo's words sparked a response from Turkey. Um, I heard what Canelo said that he respects me, but doesn't like the way we do business. This is what he wrote on X. This is what Al Sheikh wrote on X. As for him respecting me, it doesn't matter if he does or not. Mm. As for the way I do business, I know why he doesn't like it, because I only target big fights at fair prices. So, of course, anyone who likes easy fights won't like that. Uh, and I know how he feels after losing to Bivol. Ooh, that's a bit of a low blow on the belt line. Um, so he's been looking for easier fights ever since. Also, I'm not the one who's afraid of fighting Benavides or Crawford. Well, no, you're not, mate, but then you're not a boxer. If you were a boxer, maybe you would be, but I don't know. Um, and would you, would you really say Canelo was scared of fighting Crawford? Benavides, I think he's ducked Benavides. I also think he's ducked Morel, uh, Canelo. And I think there's a lot to be said for the, the, the idea that other people have mentioned that you know, since Bivol, uh, Canelo has got a sense of his own limitations. Um, he's now very sort of cautious about who he fights. He's in the, shall we say, the twilight years. I mean, he's not he's, he's anything but shot. He's still an extremely good fighter, but he's reached the peak and he's now coming down the mountain. He's still relatively near the top, but so probably Benavides or a Morel are high risk, low reward, as he perceives it. And he's definitely picking Easier, not easy, but easier fights. And uh, Alashe continues, he says, Therefore, I knew he was wasting our time and making excuses with big amounts of money that can't be paid. I'm not sure what he means by that. So I'm continuing my way to make big fights that serve the boxing world. And he's on his way to making easy show only fights. Hmm. Mm. So what do we make of this? Well, I think <clears throat> I think Alice Sheikh's got a point about, uh, like I just said, Canelo is avoiding the very best. But there is a flip side to this, and that is that um, let's not forget that Canelo is a massive cash cow. He probably doesn't need Turkey Alice Sheikh's, um, you know, bottomless wallet. He is capable of because he's such a massive star of putting on fights that are rather than being a plus fights so maybe b or b plus fights and still making a ton of money and still you know building on his legacy because i mean mungia and <clears throat> balanga now i mean these aren't these aren't bums these are good fighters i mean someone like mungia might go on to to achieve a lot more and canelo can tick the box and say yeah i beat him so it's not like these are lousy fights he's not Ducking. It's not like when George Foreman beat uh, Michael Mora and then picked the absolute easiest fight he could find, which was was almost farcical, and ended up getting stripped of, the, of his belts as well. But that, that's another story. Um, no, he's fighting some decent 
decent fighters. But don't forget that Alasheikh is used to having his own way. I did a video about his, whether he came across as being arrogant or whether he came across as being, um, uh, you know, self-entitled or, you know, all that, his excellency business and how it can turn some people off, which it can, especially in America. Um, but he, he is interested, he is used to getting his own way come hell or high water, you know, Okay, you want the fight? I'm going to wave this enormous amount of money at you. What do you mean you don't want the fight? Why not? You know, it's that kind of reaction. Hang on a minute. Well, oh, well, oh, you, so it's almost like he feels disrespected if someone turns him down. Why would you turn me down? I've got the most money, you know, money this, money that, you know. And, and also it, it was quite, it was kind of a, it could be construed as being quite an arrogant statement to say, I no longer want the Canelo Crawford fight. I no longer want the Crawford. So me, Turkey Ella Sheikh, I no longer want it. So there is that element to it. And maybe, maybe Alvarez thinks, you know, I'm a professional, not a prostitute. I can't be bought. I've, I've got my own path. I've got my own following. I've got my own, uh, my own tried and tested method of making God knows how much money I've already made. God knows how much money. So I don't need to jump into bed with this guy who's just appeared, popped up through a trap door about a year ago, a year and more than a bit, bit more than a year ago, um, with huge amounts of money, and suddenly I become one of his uh, one of his harem. He, Canelo probably thinks, no, 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 I'm doing things my own way. I'm going to carry. On. I'm going to be my own man. That is what he is essentially. You know, he's not he's not aligned to any one promoter, and um, and don't forget, Alice Sheikh has has brought together promoters and with them their fighters. Canelo doesn't have a, a specific promoter. He's his own man. So if, if Alasheik wants to work with him, uh, he's got to consider that he is going to, he, he's cut out the middleman. He's got to go straight to the fighter and say, not what do I want, but what do you want? You know, um, Canelo won't take kindly to someone saying, I want this. Well, I don't actually care what you want. I'm the one in the ring doing the fighting. So sit yourself down and tell me what you can offer me. That's Canelo's attitude. And it's one that I totally approve of. And I do think, I do think, as I've said before in previous videos, now that as other people have said, that this is the danger when you have someone who comes into boxing and seems to sort of lasso everyone and pull them all into the same pen. You know, you end up with this, with basically a dictatorship. Um, and yes, we've all loved, you know, the Riyadh cards and how fantastic and spectacular they are. But it's not necessarily for the long term good of boxing. The best thing, you know, you cannot have dictatorships. You know, first of all, the fighters will suffer because it's a case of you'll take what I give you. No negotiation or you won't fight. This is, this is a Dana White UFC sort of thing, model. Uh, you don't want the money? Off you go. And there's nowhere else to go because everyone's been pulled under one roof. Um, that's a bad thing. And also the quality of the fights could the theoretically suffer. It's not enough to say, well, you know, they're all under the same roof, so the best fights are always going to be made. Not necessarily. Not necessarily, you know. Uh, it may be easier to make the big fights... <clears throat> so long as the promoters retain some sort of power. But if, as has been suggested, Turkey Alasheikh buys up boxing, buys up promotional companies, I mean, he's probably got the money to do it. I mean, I would imagine that something like matchroom boxing would cost him at least a billion quid, um, probably more. And would, would Hearn sell? Probably not. <clears throat> would Warren... Um, sell Queensbury to Alashay. I don't know. I mean, you know, he's probably going to go off the top rank, golden boy. Ideally, he'd like to own everything because he is this big kid in the, you know, in, in the toy shop who's been given an unlimited amount of money to buy things. So I don't know. I think, I think Canelo versus Alashay, I think that there's two sides to the story. Um, yes, Canelo has ducked. But yes, I kind of respect his desire to want to stay independent. Um, and yes, Alasheikh has shown a little bit of arrogance, I think, on this in this particular instance. But 
you may disagree leave your comments below as always let me know what you think and uh yeah i'm looking forward to reading them please subscribe to the channel if you're new hit the like button which always helps and spread the word about joe stunner boxing build the channel up come on you know it makes sense all right ladies and gentlemen have a good day i'll speak to you soon bye for now